breathe influence music uh, key of G um, the originals in the key of E so we're gonna be starting up on the 12th fret on a B so if you just go down three frets from where I show you for uh, for key of G you'll be in the key of E so you can play with practice along with the album okay so like I said we're gonna start the intro and the interlude are the same notes just a different uh, strumming picking pattern um, so 12th fret, B string, which is a B, you can start, you're going to start there. Let me just, I'll play it through here, I'm going to use a metronome. right into your first verse um, so there's a, on this song there's a lot of offbeat accents and when you're hitting your notes on the on the offbeat so I would recommend using a metronome to help you uh, when you're practicing this okay so 12b then up one fret 13 to the C and then you're on the 12 e which is E and then up to 15 which is you're back to a G so So the second, the second hit, the C and the G are on the offbeat, right? One, two. Then you're back here again, same thing. Thirteen. Then you're going down to twelve G, which is a G. Two, three, four, and then it's right to your verse. Um, so the, I'll just go right into the interlude. So the interlude after the chorus and stuff it's the same notes it's just you're adding a different um strum pattern okay so you instead of just single notes now you're going kind of triplets okay so that's your your ta your intro and your interlude same notes just different pattern uh so your chorus um chorus you're starting on the off beat on 12g so a g so i'll get the the metronome going here three four one two three you are gone then you be at verse two okay so breaking that down it's a really easy song um so on the off beat you're starting on that g 12 11 which is the f sharp and then you're dropping down to the 12 on the D string, which is a D. So G, F sharp, D. Then you're back up here again for two. And then you're going just to walk up F sharp, G, A. Same thing as the first time, F sharp to D. And then just two hits on the G. And then you're at your interlude. And you play through your interlude. Um, pretty easy. So that's your chorus, your your intro, your interlude. And then you get your bridge. So the bridge, they just they kind of have that uh, um, on a G note. You could do down here on D5. Palm muted. Um, you know, do, 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 um, if you have dotted eighth delay, that'll be helpful. Um, I don't have any delay on this one. It's just my practicing. Um, you just keep that going as it builds. Um, 
and then what I like to do, I just, I just ask it once it builds through, then I just, I just start to kind of hammer, you know, hammer out that chorus, just, uh, hit it hard, um, build it up again. And then you're back, back to your chorus again. Um, and just the same. Um, I'll throw in a little on the D to the E. I'll throw that in there every once in a while. Probably on the last chorus, just to give it a little something extra. You could also do, if you do uh, kind of the 12 on both the D and the E, You know, you can. There's a couple different things you can do, but that's pretty much the whole song. I mean, it's it's really easy. It's it's a fun song to play. Have fun. Thanks, guys.